monitor is ready in like two minutes, it's set and it's good to go. This is QHD, which come in resolution of 3440 by 1440, meaning that this monitor is not 4K monitor, but it's better than 1080p. So this is QHD, it's better than 1080p, which is regular HD. So this is more of a upgraded uh, picture quality, better than 1080p, but not 4K quality. But if you put this by side by side with 4K, you may not notice that much difference in picture quality. So this is not a 4K monitor, but trust me, the picture quality is close to that of 4K. So this is more of a straight right now. This is straight. If I teach, that is how much this can go. And if you're going down, this is how much you can go down. So there's no much flexibility when it comes to the teaching part of this, nothing much. You are not going to get that movement of swing side by side, but you can come down on this one and can go up on the monitor, okay? If you're going to use that side to side, you may have to put this on a VESA mount. That will be the only way for you to get this monitor to move side to side up and down or even for you to get a better teeth up and down at the angle that you want you will have to go with a phaser mount and that will be the best way i mean to mount this monitor but if you are not that concerned about that movement the stand will be good enough for you so that's what i have on this monitor like i said i'm going to be comparing with the acer and i'm going to bring the acer for you right now to see what we have at the back of the acer all right guys so i have the acer monitor right here, here. And this is the stand for the Acer. Look at the back. So this is the stand. Right now, I don't know if this is standard on knock off monitor. I have just realized that the Acer also can only teach up and down, very minimum, but there's no side to side swing. The height on the Acer is going to be what you get if you are mounting it on the stand, but you could do teeth. And that is all. So we're going to look at the back of this, which kind of make it a bit of uh, obvious difference. I'm going to list the spec for both of these on the screen for you to see the difference, okay? Just take your time to look at the spec on the screen. At the back here, you have light coming on. It's RGB light, it's really nice, okay? Also, down here, this is where you have all your port down here. So I'm going to run through the physical difference for you guys, all right? Let's look at the input first. The LG come with three USB. The Acer, none. There's no USB input. On the LG, you have, you have one display port. On the Acer, you have two display ports. On this, you have two HDMI on the Acer also, you have two HDMI. Here, you have headphone input or audio output, the same thing with this one. When it comes to cough, I think there's just a little bit of cough on this. It's a little coughier on the Acer compared to the LG. This can go up and down. This cannot go up and down. The boat can tilt forward or backward. When it comes to screen, the height, like the screen height, this is wider and longer than this this is 35 this is 34 all right so if we have to compare the two if i put it together the lg is wider and is taller than the acer monitor if i'm doing coding office work whatever the lg will be my choice it will be my choice because you have more screen size to work with i'm going to put both of them on we we'll see them side by side we look at the screen quality. The one you're looking at right now, that is the Acer. This is the LG monitor. Just look at it. I think it's more warmer on the LG compared to the Acer monitor. Honestly speaking, I don't see any much difference in the screen size. That's for sure. Even though the LG is bigger by one inch in screen size, I don't see that much difference when you are using it. If you're buying one of these, it's going to be bottom down to, you know, individual preference. But trust me, you will not go wrong by either of this monitor. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this informative enough, please do subscribe if you're here to be a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Share this video and like it so that others can see. And that's gonna be it for me on this one. 
Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.